question is what do we want from the future? What quality of life do we want for ourselves and for future generations? And whether we can actually attend to our behaviours and change them. It may be too difficult to do, but that would be pretty disappointing. How do we provide energy, keep a clean environment, allow people all over the world to come up the scale of prosperity and health, provide them with food, clothing, shelter, and clean water? How can we have our cake and eat it too, if you will? How to accomplish the good things and minimize the bad? It is the system that keeps us you know, digging bigger holes and putting more trash in them and putting it into the ocean. And if we think about what we actually do and the amount of products you use every day and the things you throw away, it's quite extraordinary. Making a transition to a more sustainable planet is the ultimate challenge for all of us today. We want to tackle really important societal problems and of course, that does require pulling together basic science, engineering, and users. The challenge for me tries to address the issue of societal wealth, how to maintain it into the future, in particular how so-called developing world can increase their standard of living and yet do it in a sustainable way. I see real possibilities for developing countries to make new contributions. Not only do they have the opportunity to start from scratch, but they're also not locked into old knowledge. As the world's second largest economy, China is becoming an increasingly important innovation center, focusing on an R&D collaboration and early stage innovation development. Maintaining the engineering and physical sciences capability to respond to future challenges and opportunities does not happen by accident. Many of the global challenges we face require cross-disciplinary teams using flexible funding. The method is not to pick winners, it's to reduce barriers and maximise the chance of any technology getting traction. Working with China on innovation is key as it explores the potential to build a pool of technology collaborations to break down barriers to collaboration and innovation. From working with scientists and engineers I've learned, we're all creative people. I think that's really where we break down the barrier of the supposed two cultures. I'm very hopeful that this summit will find some common themes and perhaps uh, suggest best practice or suggest experiments, almost like a startup company. Grand Challenges implies that it can be solved from the top down, and I reckon a lot of it will probably be solved from the bottom up. It's always the unexpected that comes out of a new technology. It's never the way that we imagined it would be, and that's also where great innovation comes from. Nobody understands this more intuitively than children who have been brought up in the age of information technology. They don't quite understand what impossible means. They don't have the scars people like me have, so they're unencumbered. They know that they are connected to others like them all around the world, and that their future is a future that is shared by everybody. This brings both dawning challenge and I think great hope.